Hello, hello, my friends on YouTube. I am so happy that you are here. My name is Eunice Chan, and I am coming to you with a new video today about the four areas, the four things that stop you and block you from expressing your voice fully. If you feel that, if you're experiencing that, or if there is even a hint of yourself that makes you feel like, oh my God, I, I can't be in my fullest expression or I feel like I'm not in my fullest expression in every single moment, then please watch. Because by the end of this video, you will have identified the four areas which make you bite your tongue sometimes and make you stop yourself from ex expressing yourself and what you can do about it so that you can confidently share your voice at any place, at any time, at any state. So before we dive in, I would love to invite you to subscribe as well as hit the bell button and like this video if you think that this video is actually good. And let us be in a place of declaration and intention so that put that in the comments below, declare with me that I, I can find a way, I can find a way to express myself in front of anyone, at any time, at any moment in the day, and really feel that in your heart. Really feel that as you declare that in the comments below. I really want to see your declarations. Let's set an, a very strong intention before we begin this video so that by the end of it, you would have absorbed everything that I had to say. So the first problem is, the first problem is the proximity of being around someone that has a very powerful voice. Someone that you feel like is more powerful than you. Someone who you feel that is more superior than you. I used to try to reason with myself. I used to try to tell myself that I am good enough. I used to tell myself that I am not smaller than this person, but somehow there is something that always made me feel inferior. There's this inferiority complex going on. So what do we do about that? The way that I handled this problem is to really reframe my relationship with other people. When I find that there are other people that I feel is really superior than me, someone who is you know, further along in experience than me, who is further along in their journey than me, who are more knowledgeable and wiser than me, I have to remind myself to take them off the pedestal. The truth is their experience does not mean anything about me, but sometimes when we put ourselves in that context, when we put ourselves on a scale, measuring how, where we are and where they are, we will always feel like we are behind. We will always feel like we're inferior and we'll always feel like we're smaller. And as a result, we'll always find ourselves fighting against the feeling like, why can't I feel like I am enough? Or how can I, why can I never measure up to this person? So if we were to reframe this, to, to, to just eliminate the scale that we are on, we need to take them off the pedestal and acknowledge that they are not, they're not people that we worship. They're not gods or goddesses. They are people who have walked the journey. They, have, they are people who have continued to choose themselves. And if we take them off the pedestal, we are no longer putting them in a place where they're superior. We, we're no longer worshiping, worshiping them. We respect them for their work. We respect them for their experiences. And there's so much that we can learn from them, but we have got to take them off the pedestal so that we will, we will not feel like we are always smaller and not enough. So that we will feel like we are equal. If that person can do it, I can do it. If that person has the same qualities that I do, I can do it. If that person is also, that person is a person, that person's a human, and I'm a human, what's stopping me from being able to achieve the same things they do? So really celebrate the fact that if that person can do it, it is evidence that I can do it too. So that is your number one solution. The second problem that I find is that we 
sometimes we don't know how our unique voice and expression sounds like we're not very familiar with it and sometimes there's no we feel we feel like you know we we want to say something but we're not sure what is the right way to say it and if i say it this way i'm afraid that people would take me the wrong way or if i say it this way i'm afraid that i'm going to offend someone if i say it in a certain way i'm not sure how people are going to interpret it and as a result maybe there will be conflict i'm afraid how I, i'm afraid that what i'm going to say is going to be taken out of context so finding the right way to say something so here's the solution. Finding the right way to say something is hardly ever the question. I used to be asking this question a lot and asking this question very often. How am I supposed to say that? How am I supposed to say something that is so hard to say and so hard to communicate and I'm afraid that I might step on that person's toes, I might offend someone. So how am I supposed to say it? So the solution to that is not how to say something or how to word something which is what a lot of people you know try to try to find out but it's tapping into a place of your heart and reconnecting with your intention why it is why is it that you want to say this thing in the first place where are we coming from when we are saying this are we coming out of love or are we coming out of defense are we coming out of care or are we coming out of control? So the thing that you want to say, instead of thinking about how to say it or what words to say it, if you're afraid that you cannot find the words, it is okay. Just go back into your heart, tap back into your heart and find your intention and reconnect with it. Reconnect with that feeling. Find what it is that you really want to express. Do you want to express love? Do you want to express care? Do you want to express what is it that you want to express? You want to express that you love someone. How, how would you say it if you're coming from a place of love? That is so, so important. And that has also helped me to handle some of the most difficult and challenging conversations when I feel like I didn't have the words for it. So problem number three is I feel like I don't have the authority and experience to say something. So somehow feeling like I need to get more qualifications, I need to get more certifications, I need to get more acknowledgement, I need to get more recognition. And if I don't, I feel like an imposter and I feel like there's no right place for me to say it. There's no stage for me to say it. Who is going to listen to me? So that is that feeling and that is a very huge block but I tell you it is about knowing that you are the most experienced you will ever be today in this moment right now you are the most experienced you will ever be and you have experience you have walked the furthest you have ever walked in your journey so you have all the right to claim your acknowledgement of looking back in your journey and telling the story as it is. The problem of the problem of thinking that oh my God, there's still so much, there's still so much further for me to walk. There's still so much more for me to learn. How can I guide other people, or how can I teach other people, or how can I say what I want to say if I don't have enough experience to say it? So the solution is instead of looking at yourself, instead of focusing on how much further I still need to go, how much more I still need to learn, that is incredible for growth. But if you want to hone in your, your ability to express your voice at any time, at any moment, you want to be able to look back and say, there is so much I have gone through. I have walked so far. I have carried myself this far. I have held myself through all the situations. And I know that with my experience, I can hold it for someone else. 
I can guide someone else, I can help someone else with the things that I have experienced, with the path that I've walked, with the journey that I've gone through. I have enough, I have walked enough to, to help someone else. And if we just look back from the mountain that we have climbed on, we look back at the journey that we have walked from the place in the mountain and, and to acknowledge, to see how far we have climbed, we will realize how far we have come. So from that place, we have enough stories to share. We have enough wisdom to share. We have enough insight to share. That is not to say that we are complacent, but it means that we have enough of insight, wisdom, and experiences to share with other people. And that from this place, we can fully express ourselves from where we are because of what we have experienced. So block number four is something that I experience every once in a while and I really want to highlight this to you because not, not a lot of us are aware that actually time itself poses a huge pressure on us when we feel like we don't have enough time to prepare for something. So the moment when we feel like I don't have enough time to prepare, I don't have enough time to, you know, to come up with this message. I, I, I don't have enough time to write and prepare for this message. Instead of, instead of fighting, fighting that feeling, fighting the pressure, the pressure is just going to continue to build up the pressure of, I don't have enough time. I don't have enough time. I don't know how to express myself. I don't have the words. I don't know what to say. The pressure continues to build up if we fight it. If we just continue to listen to it and give into it and, 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 and fight it. So the way to actually expand into the time to the way to find our self expression when we are in short of time, when we feel like we're running out of time when we feel like we don't have enough time to prepare is to expand into the moment. This has worked for me every single time. I don't have time when I feel like I, I tell myself, I don't have time to prepare for this. I only have five minutes. I only have 10 minutes. I, I only have this much dedicated time to prepare for the thing that I need to say. I start, when I start fumbling, I pull myself back and I acknowledge, I thank the time that it is there for me to keep. I thank the time for holding space for me to, to come up with the, the things that I, I need to say, with the things that I can, can, can say to express myself. I thank that, I acknowledge that for holding space for me. And then use that space to expand into feeling what you're feeling in the moment. Expand into the message, expand into your voice in that moment after you have acknowledged, okay, I understand that I have this time limit. Thank you so much for holding this space for me. I will use this space to expand. I will use this space to feel. I will use this space to, you know, feel into my emotion. What is, what is it? that I need to say, what is coming through for me. A lot of times this is how channeling happens. So if there is anything that you feel is coming through you, instead of focusing on the pressure of that and fighting the pressure, fighting off the pressure, allow yourself to just get back in touch with your heart, get back in touch with your emotions, and you will find that the pressure just automatically just dissolves. When the pressure dissolves, magical things happen like you would never expect. You will find that your ideas are just coming to you. You will find that your ideas are just flowing to you. Your creativity is coming back. Your voice is coming back. Your confidence is coming back. Everything is coming back. And it is an incredible, incredible state to be. So it changes your state instantly without actually trying to fight against it, without actually having to push against it. This is such a blissful place to be. So if you liked all of these four tips, all these four solutions, if you feel like any of these have helped you thus far, please, please put them in the comments below. Let me know what was your favorite solution and how that has helped you. And also declare again with me below that I 
get back into this heart space, I can always find a way to express myself in front of anyone, at any given moment, at any time of the day, at any place. And it is safe for me to express my unique voice. Often and always. Feel that. Feel that as your truth. So, as you take this message, go out there, share your unique voice. Share that with someone who needs to hear it. Share your voice with someone who needs to hear it and please share this video with someone whom you think can benefit. And before I leave you, please don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell button and like this video as well. And until next time, take care and I will see you very soon.